Thank you. Now it's over to Alex, who's got a very special assignment for you at home. Yes, I'm pretty pumped up about yeah. this. He's one of the best boxers to ever step foot in the ring. But what's more impressive about two-time heavyweight champion and Olympic gold medalist George Foreman is his story. And it's that story that's being immortalised on screen in a knockout biopic. I had the absolute pleasure of speaking with George himself. I couldn't believe it. As well as the young star stepping into his huge shoes. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. George should change his name from poor man to poor man. <laughs> What's my name now, fool? Foreman is the new heavyweight champion of the world. George Foreman, what an honor it is to talk to you. How are you? Life is good. Even better if I was in Australia today. I love Australia. You are welcome here anytime, George. Let's talk about the film. What is it like seeing yourself portrayed on screen like that? Pretty wild, right? And people think it's really it's powerful, but you think I spent a whole lifetime trying to hide my life. Big fences and gates around my house. Privacy, the tinted windows in your car. Then you do a movie, no secrets. Everything is revealed. That's not easy. George Foreman ain't no new champ. He is the new chump. We gonna get it on because we don't get along. Imagine that. Foreman goes down! Chris, there's a lot of responsibility with this role. Talk me through transforming into big George Foreman. You think about all of these different nuances of Mr. Foreman and you, you're like, man, I, I gotta get it right. Everybody knew he's global, so it's easy to get wrong. So you said it right. It was a big responsibility, and it felt like a responsibility from the door. We would train for five to six hours a day, and then after that, I would go home, and I would eat my nutrition, and then I would go back to the gym for two more hours. To get to the larger, no pun intended, size, <laughs> we took six weeks off for me to gain weight to do his comeback, right? And I got myself up to 7,000 calories a day. And I gained 50 pounds in five weeks, so I went from 225 to 275 in five weeks. The heaviest I got was 282. There's only two things I know how to do. That's box and preach. And preach, you won't pay the bills. George, if we could just go back quickly. You grew up in the fifth ward. How tough was that? Boy, it was a tough life. My mother had to be mo both mother and father, and we never had enough of anything. Enough beds, enough food, and the word hope did not exist. When I saw that movie, I relived those moments. How in the world did hope come alive in my life? Hope, sounded like an easy word, but man, I didn't have any. You know, I met Doc Brodus in a job corps center. He told me about, you know, if you stop fighting in the streets and take the chip off your shoulder, you can become a good fighter, George. I didn't want to be a boxer at all. And then getting in those situations where he never gave up on me, making me come back to California to go back into the ring, winning a gold medal, then the birth of hope. That's what it was. I had hope then. And you become the oldest heavyweight champion in the world. Just incredible. And then you and Muhammad Ali became friends, right? Oh, what a lovely guy. We missed a lot of time, my being angry with him and him boasting so much. But then out of boxing, I started to contact him. He called me up. We talked so many years. And the good thing about our relationship, the advent of the cell phone. And we could actually talk to each other and see one another on the phone. That made it so lovely. I miss him to this day, not having that phone call. George, what is your one piece of advice to the world? Always have hope. It doesn't matter what happened yesterday. Get up. If you're knocked down, brush, up, brush off your pants, spit in your palms, and give it another round. That's boxing, and that's life. It's now. It's never. It is a great film, and he is a great man. Wow. Big George Foreman is available to rent or buy it from tomorrow. 74 years young, still going strong, Carlos. What about the fight in him to, to, first of all, try and work his way out of abject poverty yeah. Yeah. to be the Those top of the tree there? And The Rumble in the Jungle, um, if you haven't seen it, mm -hmm. go and watch it. It's unbelievable, and he fought his way back from that as well. Excellent stuff, Alex. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs>
Okay. What's my name again? Oh my God, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?